there are many things that could be said. But I read but Magic the Gathering Arena is an interesting thing. Quite unfair if you ask me, but I guess that's what happens with most card games. They are quite unfair. So I decided to just try and my luck at the real card game, which is um expensive or not or whatever. Or, you know, more buyers than before. I really read somewhere that it's better to buy individual cards and boosters because you get more value. Okay, fine. This thing should work. Proper. Now, this is a deck builder, toolkit, whatever. Uh, no. This thing is nice. This is the deck builder's uh, what is it? guide, yes. This is supposed to tell you about what fire does, what green does. Wait, where's my favorite color? Where is my favorite color? Yes, here it is my favorite color. White. I don't know, I'm just... I just... I don't even like vanilla, I just like... Eh, white is good. Now, how will you open this? Okay! Okay, so if I get four booster packs in this, we got Dominaria, Corset 2019, Yields of Ravnica, and Ravnica Allegiance. These will all be opened later on because, good luck me, this thingy that's supposed to keep stuff, or you could use for displaying something, I guess. And I could glue this together, and then it's gonna be like this, and I can keep. I don't know, something in it, and, hmm, oh, I was expecting a dice, oh, well, so what do we have here, oh, don't fall, we got four decks I get constructed, whatever they are, I don't know, some of these seem bigger than the others, there's supposed to be 125 cards in it, and 100 lands. Now let's go on. Let's see what's in this one. Like, I don't even know what's the point of this sometimes. Ah, yes, all the trash everywhere. So, water. Shark to crab. Yes. I like the theme of green and water. I, don't know, I think it makes for good colors. Water and black. Water and white, which is very good. I like white. I like. I like a lot of white. Um, most of the cards are some things I've seen and used here and there on Arena. You might be wondering what am I doing right now. I am just putting cards down at the moment. Not really guild a care. I like the Simonic Guild Gates because they're different. Like, look. This one is like... Grass and water, and this one's like grass and water too, but it's different. And this is grass and white, not a grass and white. I like this one. Boros Gilgate, Island, Plains, Plains, different kinds of Plains everywhere. <sighs> what do you have here? My favorite Skewer the Critic. It's a very good card to use in Arena, and I guess I have seen in general, it's a very good one. Maximize Velocity, Burn Bright, and oh, Goblin Gathering, like three of them, nice, Whispering sn Snitch, I really like the, uh, the artwork for this one, it really looks like a Whispering Snitch, but like that has any point right now, so I'm more of Dark and Sorcery and Instant Spells, Mountains, 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 Swamps, this was one! Let's go to the other. Ah, this one has a dragon on it. You can never do bad with dragon. Dragons are awesome as long as you know how to open it. And if you don't know how to open it, you use a very old rusty scissor and cut the card or break it or do something bad to it. It's not like you're gonna have any future value. Oh, look, I cut it. Oh no, the value is gone. 
My god, I lost the value on that card. Look at me how sad I am. Okay, this is an annoying card I had to face. This is one card in Magic Arena that I was thinking what it is its purpose, never understood. This is a good one, but you don't want to fight against it. Island, island, island. Lots of islands. Can put them here. Boros Yogit. Fire and White. Gruel. Gruel. Gate, gate. Planes, planes, planes. Somewhere around here. Oros Enforcer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black cards that do black stuff. And they're very bad. And mountains. A lot of mountains. I like to look on them. Can use them for something, I guess. At one point. Besides playing. Now we're gonna get off scissor again. This thing cut them open from on top. Because why not? We're not done. Oh, we're not done because we have to endure every single bag that's here. It's gonna be awful. Yes, yes. Rosemane. Footlight Fiend, yes, yes. I like this one. I'm gonna use it to for something. Ah, well, it fell. Who cares? Swamp, 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 island, island. No, you don't, 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 don't throw the islands away. I'm gonna keep them all here. This is like my island deck. It's full of islands and planes. I don't know, for reasons. Not specific. Mortify. Oh! I threw it away and didn't even look at it. This is one of my favorite cards from Magic Arena. I'm gonna put it here. These are like my favorites. Yes, he's a girl, girl gate, forest, 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 mountain, mountain. It's quite a, this thing is quite a cheap hack and I get a lot of cards here. And being someone that has no basic idea on how to get more into Magic the Gathering and just playing the arena game, I'm gonna have a problem. So because of that, I'm gonna put my Captain Gaius here. He's gonna watch over all the cards, so nobody steals them. I also had the very old Thousand Sun somewhere around here, but he's kind of fell off his base. And he's kind of shy about it. <laughs> Come on, open it. Get open. By the way, I don't know how these work. But from my point of view, the amount of cards you get is amazing. So, low is that. And you can do whatever you want to them, like... See if you can hit Captain Guys in the head. Well, it doesn't matter. You have to hit him in the head. You just fail. You're a bad Captain Guys. Boros Challenger. I'm gonna put him in my favorites, even though he's a bad one. Yes, you get this. Crackling Drake. I hate this one, but I'm gonna put it here. Because it's not my favorite, but because it's my favorite to hate. Yes, yes. I'm gonna find an order for them at some point. Swamps. No, it does not work with my island and planes deck. Prey upon. Open the gates. Siege worm. Mammoth spider. A 3 5 4 5. Has reach. God knows what that means. Rampaging red horn. Has riot. Theodore boar. This is an annoying one. Iron shell beetle. I like beetles. They're nice. I used to collect beetles when I was small. Lava coil. Put it here because I like it. Glamour, Goblin, Banneret, Cementor. I like Goblins. Put it here. Demeter Gilgate, Ors of Gilgate, Ors of Gilgate, Azorius Gilgate, Azorius Gilgate, Plains. I'm gonna put the Plains in my Plains and Island deck. Nobody's gonna beat me because on turn one, I'm gonna put a mana, and on turn two, I'm gonna put a mana. And I'm gonna put mana until I die. Spirit of Spires, Instant Obligation, whatever. Summary Judgment, take heart, take heart. Sworn Companions. Put in my favorite pile. Healer's Hawk, Forest, 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 Forest. Guys, get back to your job. Get back to your job. There. 
you should be good. Now, since we've done this, I have to say that, yes, this is a good opening. It has done, it has done very well. I have, from this whole two builders thing, I have made a deck of island and planes. Supposed to do something. Now, let's look at the booster packs. Now, two of these I have bought by myself, like three, these three. And these are the ones that come with the set. So these are more important because I already spent a lot of money on them. I got them because I decided it might be good to get some good cards in here. I've done stupid. Problem! It's always good when you have two heads. Oh, that's what I heard. Uh, ultra promo card, whatever this is, I don't care. Let's see. Call are the culprit. A dead weight, just like what my father says about me. Devious cover up. Grow. Fire urchin. I have no idea if there's a wear between in any of these. Maximize altitude. Rose main centaur. I like him. I put him in my liking pile. And I like her. I like him. Gravitic punch. Uh, what's this? I have no idea, but I don't like it. I don't like her either, not him. Okay. This was a bad one, I'm not sure what I got. But I like I like a few cards from that set. So that's good. I really feel like a kid again. But back when I was a kid we used to do this with Pokemon cards. Join the excitement. See the battle of the best whatever's in things that are unknown. For Abomination. A Relic Runner, a Healing Grace, a Radiating Lightning, a Corsan Druid, a Caligo Skin Witch, a Cloud Reader Sphinx, Gift of the Growth, Guardians of Coilos, whatever, Fungal Infection, just what I have on my feet, whatever. I like this, it's called the Saga, and I like it. I'm gonna put it here. Um. Planes, Isolated Chapel, Zafrin, and Ledge. Oh! I might have mi really missed this one out. A legendary creature with 0-0. Zero, zero. Does this mean that it dies? Like the moment the creature reaches 0, isn't that the moment the creature is fucking dead and it can't move? Let's see. Shana Sisai's legacy can be targeted of, a of abilities your opponent controls. Can be the target of abilities your opponent controls. That's quite weird. Shanna gets plus one, plus one for each creature you control. A good rush deck. I can keep it here. I like it. That's like my favorite one out of all the openings I did today. Well, favorite until now. There's one more that I want, which is, I don't know, the Scourging Diva or whatever. And we get a token that we put here. Nobody cares about tokens. Unwind. Excavation Elephant. Get to Chronicler, Pierce the Sky, Cabal Paladin, nice. A uh, Homarid, Explorer, this was the first villain from One Punch Man, that was a lobster. Short Sword, it's an artifact, I'm gonna put it here. Kildon Rider, Ancient Animus, Navigator Compass, Champion of Flames, Seal Away, Cast Down. And another legendary creature, which is Ariel, Knight of the Wind Grace. She has Vigilance, create a 2 to one 2 to knight white knight creature token with Vigilance, tap X and tap knights, you control, destroy target creature with power X or less. I like it. I found two legendary creatures in one opening. I'm not even sure how good those are. I'm not sure if anybody's really watching this and finding out, but I'm not good at this knowing stuff about this game. But I love throwing shit away. Oh, 3 1 Trample with Haste. This is a token you want. We have Opt, Invoke the Divine, Bloodstone Goblin. I like goblins. Wind Grace Acolyte, Arbor Armament, Rat Colony, Paradic. Wander, which is an artifact creature, I'm gonna put it here. So like artifacts too. 
Eviscerate, a Volatic Servant, which is a 2 for 1 3, at the beginning of your end step, untap target target. Okay. Seismic Shift. I'm gonna put the Saga, this Triumph of Geralt here. Goblin Barrage. And I get one more Saga. And. Which is the Mirari Conjurer, whatever. And Garan, the Blood Flame. Okay. I have to say, this is, these are open, that this is pretty good. Gaius is giving us good luck. I'm not even sure if it's good. I just put all the cards that I like here in the end. Hoping that they're going to be worth something at one point. Or they're going to be good. God knows I can do something useful with them. Like, I don't strangle my opponents to death. Okay. Got a token, a dragon. Five five with flying. Amazing. Now we got Knight of the Tusk. Tolarian Scholar. Two three for two three. Human wizard. That looks a lot like a singer. Whatever. Onake Ogre, never use him. Highland game. Oh I use this one. I hate it so much, it's useless. Or it did nothing to me. For me, I mean. Bonk Stomper, Colossal Deadmaw, which I'm trying to find out. Essence Scatter, Naturalize, Strangling Spores, good one to have, good one. It's a good removal, it was a lot. Tud, Vigilant Baloost, Horizon Scholar, Cleansing Nova, which is a sorcery. It has some weird symbol, we have a mountain here. We have realized that it is a foil. Kindry life, so that's good. It's a foil. And this thing that looks weird to me. Is there something special about it? Cleansing Nova. I don't care. At this point, I'm just going to have to look at all my favorite piles and see if there's something good in it. Maybe even at the normal pile. I really should stop with this mess. What do we have here? Bar Bird Illusion, flying. Got Swarm Companions, Maximize Altitude, Torch Courier, Hunted Witness, Generous Stray, which is a kitty. It's a 3 for 1, 2 crazy one, General Kitty, I mean. When Generous Stray enters the battlefield, draw a card. Okay. Spinal Centipede, Undercity Uprising. Uh, Pantillion Patrol, pa Boros Locket, Siege Worm, uh, Double Card. Okay, I'm gonna put it here. Sinister Sabotage, Sun Home Stalwart, Sacred Foundry, and Selenia Guild. Selenia's Guild Gate, whatever. Okay. Good job, guys. You've been keeping us protected from all the terrorist forces of chaos until now. Let us see how good we can do in the last opening. We get uh, human token. That's like the worthless one. And we have Arrestor Zeal, Rubel Watch Recluse, Sage Rule Savant, Noxious Gorgadin, Sagittarius Valley, The Face, Seismic Locket. Senate Griffin. I'm gonna put in my liking one. I like how it looks. Scoldergate. Senate Courier. Sienna Wave Rider. Whatever. Rhythm of the Wild. Dovin's Acuity. Bleeding Pool. That's not the foil. And Rakados Guildgate. Okay, guys, what do you think? How do you think this was? Do you think it was good? Guys does not talk much. Now, I know my calculations are pretty stiff at the moment since I combined a lot of my own booster packs and the bones that came in the box. It's gonna be a mess to clean this shit up. But I see that this thing can be really worth your time if you buy one. It's not really a thing where you all know I have to buy another one because you kind of get the same cards every time. So the booster packs. I think even the booster packs are the same. I mean, they're of the same 
what's it called? Block. You have the same block. They don't change. So you're gonna get Dominaria, Magic Core, Guilds of Ravnica, and Allegiance of Ravnica. Really, that's about it. It's not really a thing that you should buy more than once. But it might be good for some purposes.